Hi everybody, Kath here from the Home Public Library. Sorry if you see my cat during this, I cannot keep her away. Uh, today for Book Talk Tuesday, we're gonna be talking about The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. And it's not the newest book out there, but I think it's super worth talking about. I just read it myself, so um, we're gonna have a really great book talk today. So this book follows Yomara Batista as she grows and comes to terms with herself and her life in her Harlem neighborhood. She often feels stifled by her mother's vision for her and the church's version of who she should really be, um, but nevertheless she's becoming a strong woman both in body and mind, and her sense of solace really only comes from her ability to put it on paper and write about her emotions and experiences. I personally really love the portrayal of her acceptance and acknowledgement of her body, um, but what I love most about this book was the format. So it's actually written in verse, it's a form of poetry, which does a really nice job of taking us into the main character's mind. It feels a little bit choppy sometimes, but you know, that's kind of how all of our thoughts go through our minds, and it just overall feels really raw. Um, I think it can be a little hit or miss for me sometimes poetry, but I found the words really striking and sometimes actually a little bit less intimidating than sitting down to read a full novel. All right, so thanks for tuning in. Um, if you're a fan of like Angie Thomas books, uh, anything by Case and Alexander, um, this might be a really good one for you to pick up. Um, just kind of a similar genre. Um, this book is also available kind of in our digital collection as well, so you can find it on the shelf or you can find it online if that kind of works better for you. But if you have any questions about where to find it, always be um, willing to kind of ask a librarian and they're always going to be willing to help you. So hope you got something out of this today and we'll see you next Book Talk Tuesday.